Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry I've not posted on this channel in a while, but I'm waiting for a good thing to post. In this box here is the LEGO Star Wars Justifier, which currently, I'm not sure if it's for Prime members only, is literally like 40 bucks off. It's 130, 140 bucks on Amazon, which is like 30 bucks off, so that's definitely a steal. I'm trying to get more into Star Wars, so that's why I got the Justifier, finally. In this box here it is, so let's start opening it. So, don't really know how I'm gonna do this, but I gotta do this with one hand. Hold on, I gotta switch. Let's see. Okay. The hard part is done. I mean, now I just have to go like. I guess I could do it. That's gonna take too long. Let's just do. How am I gonna do this? Alright, so I got it open. Oh, there's another box inside. There's another box. That sucks. I have opened it up and. Oh, there we go. I've seen this in stores. I nearly bought it when I was going to Target. But I decided against it, and I'm really glad I picked it up here, because now it feels more special. So this is a pretty large box. It's that, like, larger box design that I think looks really good. One thing I recently learned is that this stripe correlates to the color of, like, the thing. So this is the Bad Batch color stripe, even though it's, like, the only one like that, I think. Because there's only one Bad Batch set. Personally, I never really liked this style box, but I think it looks too... It, it's fine. I don't really know much about the show, so I assume that's like Cloud City, I guess. But this shit looks really cool. I heard this is like a hammer feature, and it comes with these minifigures. Cat, this is a new Cad Bane. Most of these are exclusive, except for these two, so I'm actually really excited about that. And I already have Flash Hand, so yeah. The back of the box is just the side view of the shit, which honestly kind of makes it feel like it's overpriced, because I don't really like this. But it's still a cool feature. You could also see in the cockpit more of the feature, all the minifigures in action, and some hidden storage. Time to open up the box. Normally I just swipe it with a knife, but I have to do this one hand, so I'm using scissors instead. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Got it. Okay. The box is now open. Got it. Okay, so we got ba ba bag six. Bag one. That's nice. This is the instruction. Oh, it's like the white thing. Yeah. Okay. Side. Bag two. I'm just gonna put this out. Stop and you'll lose any of these. Whew. Yeah, this is 1,002 pieces. Jeez. I think that's pretty empty. So here's what you get. You get two bag ones, two bag twos, two bag threes, two bag fours, two bag fives, two bag sixes, a um, 8 by 16 black base plate. Not like a base plate, but like a platform. And one of these white boxes, which should have the instructions and stickers. And I know it's super messy, but this is just how I open it. I don't even care. I just rip it. Because most of the time, I just throw these out. Yep, I was right. Inside was the instructions, which is actually pretty thick. And it obviously has that terrible new logo. Lego stuff, where it has the white bricks in the background. And it, like, basically a CG model. In person, you could tell a lot more that it's, like, computer generated. And not just, like, a picture of it entirely. And there's the sticker sheet, which looks to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stickers. Which, for a set that's a thousand pieces is actually pretty good especially a star wars set those have so many stickers so i'm gonna start building this i might eventually do a review of it on the channel because i have nothing else to do with it really except for look at it so yeah thank you all so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one and i want to start posting on this channel more too so thanks what about guys